Hey, this is Chris. How you doing? Got another little home repair doozy for you. It's not a doozy doozy, but anyway, yesterday my wife's using the microwave and she hears this noise and the microwave cuts off. First we're thinking, uh-oh, the microwave is toast, even though it's only about five years old. And so um, there wasn't a convenient place, to, there's no other convenient place really to plug in the microwave, so I got I got the can opener, plugged it in the same outlet, it didn't work either, so immediately I'm thankful that it just appears to be a plug, but then I look at the plug and it's it's a plug that I just replaced like two years ago, and it was, I bought some pretty good heavy duty plugs, 20 amp plugs, uh, for the kitchen, I'm like, well, how, did, how in the world did this happen, and so get out my trusty voltmeter man if you don't have a good a decent voltmeter you, and you want to fix things electrical things around your house you really need to get one I got a really nice one uh, it's digital it's auto ranging so you don't have to worry about setting it to the wrong range and uh, blowing out your voltmeter and it also has uh, a couple other features that makes you know it's like if you pick uh, like if you want to read AC volts it'll tell you which two connections to plug the leads into so that you don't try to read volts when you're trying to read amperes or whatever. I mean, it's it's really nice. But it's only like, they were only 25 bucks. It was it 20 or 25, something like that. But anyway, they work very well. The, the meter works very well. And so I put the probes into the outlet and I'm reading like 83 volts what in the world is going on here? So I tested it on another plug, another outlet. I, I think I've been you know, saying plug and stuff out. I mean outlet. I stick it, stick the probes into the other outlet, got 122 volts. So meter's good. The other outlet read the correct reading. So therefore, there's something going on. To only get 80, that's kind of a, but, and it was repeatable. It's like, well, I, you know, Check it once, take it back out, check it again, take it back out. It, did something, it wasn't fluctuating or anything. And so I had to go back to the, uh, the uh, circuit breaker panel and try to figure out which which outlet, which circuit these out, this outlet was on. And after some trial and error, uh, I found out that the refrigerator and this one plug are on one circuit, and that's all that's on that one circuit, which kind of makes sense because the refrigerator is pretty big draw. You can't put too much else on a on a circuit like that. So, those are generally 15 amp circuits. So that's what the breakers are. Or they might. This, this one might have been 20. This might have been why I got 20 amp, 20 amp uh, outlets. Anyway, roll the refrigerator out. Thank goodness it's on wheels, so all I gotta do is get started, pretty much roll straight out. And, uh, but the refrigerator was working fine. The refrigerator was fine, so I, but then I thought, well, you know, if this is, if this circuit is running from the refrigerator outlet to this other outlet, like an extra line right off of it, then there might be something wrong inside of the outlet, you know, some internal problem. So I took the cover plate off of the outlet behind the refrigerator. Um, well, it's a tire. It's a retread. I was wondering. It looked like a big snake. Um, took the cover off, pulled the... Carefully pulled... Well, I turned. I had the breaker off, so I wasn't that... But I still am always careful because you never know for sure. Pulled it out, and boom, one of the wires comes out of the back of the out the back of the outlet. So naturally I'm thinking, okay, we're good now because there was just a loose connection in there or maybe it, the inside of the, of the outlet was, you know, where the wire is supposed to stick in and be held in place. This was one of those older ones where, where it's uh, uh, like a friction holder or a spring-loaded holder in there. You just, you strip the wire, you stick the wire in there, you feel some, you feel some resistance and you plug it on in there and, and it's just friction that holds it in there. Well, this one just came right out of the back and actually out of the back of the outlet and actually it didn't take much effort at all to get 
the other wires out of the back of that outlet either. So I think it just, you know, it's 20 years old. It was an original outlet to the house. So I think it just, you know, and it has, you know, you got to think about that. It's got current on it all the time. I mean, the refrigerator's constantly running. And, you know, the, the, the microwave uses quite a bit of power. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's been used a lot. It's gone through a lot of thermal expansion and contraction. Yeah, I looked at the wires. The wires weren't burnt. You know, there was no insulation uh, melted or anything. You know, it didn't smell funny. It didn't smell like something had been burning. So, uh, fortunately, I had an extra outlet on hand. I try to keep a couple extra, but that's my last one. I have to go to uh, Lowe's and get some more. <laughs> and, uh, you know, didn't have to trim the wires or anything. You know, just put the, and I got the, and the new outlet I got, it's got a... It's, got, it's still got it's got screws on the side, but it's got a plate in front of the screw. So when you slide the wire in behind the plate and tighten down the screw, that's what holds it in place. So it's a good, firm, uh, mechanical connection there for the wire. So hooked all the wires back up. Before I shoved it back in there, I, I uh, went and turned the breaker back on. Still had the can opener plugged into the outlet that was giving us trouble. It worked. And so that was it, you know, put the, put the new outlet, shoved it back in the box, uh, tightened down all the screws, put the cover plate back on it, plugged the refrigerator back in. Well, I turned the breaker back off to do all that, then turned the breaker back on. I am, I am paranoid and petrified of electricity. I'm always exceedingly careful. Um, and plugged everything back in, turned the breaker back on, everything works great. So. Hey, you know, uh, you know, uh, an hour of my time to figure that out total sounds like a pretty good deal. A heck of a lot better than buying a uh, new microwave because I love my microwave because it's it's a bigger one, and so you can put a lot, of, you can put large containers in there. So anyway, that was my that was uh, part of my afternoon yesterday. Spent the rest of the afternoon cleaning up stuff. Uh, you've seen, you've probably seen the video of me changing the tire on the car. I know, simple stuff, but you know, some people don't know how to change tires on a car. I remember there was a time when I didn't. I felt like a total idiot not being a man and not knowing how to change a tire. Of course, I was only 17, so yeah, you can, that's okay. But, but anyway, <laughs> no any questions or comments. <laughs> Please do so in the section below. Like and subscribe. Tell us about your latest home improvement repair or just home repair, especially if it's with electricity. And don't be don't be scared to admit you shocked yourself because I've done it many times before. That's why I'm so careful. All right, we'll see you on the next one.